Thanks. Thanks, Convener. Um, good morning to you all. To pick up also on the, uh, the, the issue of innovation, uh, but also link it to advocacy for communities and so it's the staff as well as the people uh, who are receiving the care. Is there a role for the new National Centre to advocate for the people in the communities? Um, one of the submissions was from Dr Gordon Baird uh, on behalf of Keith Ness Health Action Team, Save Our Services Isla Sky and Galloway Community Hospital Action Group and, uh, and Gordon wrote, Dr Baird wrote in this that he's hoping to work with the new centre to provide information and understanding of national and regional issues and prevent ineffective repetition through feedback on effectiveness of local solutions. Um, throughout his submission, um, I'm thinking the word advocacy is a part of that. Is that something that you would support the National Centre um, um, as being part of the work? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, that's what we need is that, that we need that voice there and that support to come out into the community because in the, in the remote and rural areas, um, just as Michael said and, and others have said, it's not just about the, the, the hospital settings but it's also about what's out in the community and we need people in there to be able to have that voice to help us move, move forward with what we need in these areas. And I forgot to remind the panel that I was a clinical educator in a remote and rural area, delivering what you're talking about, ECG, blood draw, and, and things like that. So, so it was part of my job, so I forgot to remind colleagues and panel about that. Thanks.